How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I got my client for the next two days and I'm gonna be doing one of the priority designs that I posted on my website. The concept is the galaxy on the top, the ocean on the bottom, and I got an astronaut falling from the space inside of the ocean. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And me somewhere much deeper Having breakfast with my client is definitely one of the most important things for me because I get to know my client, they get to know me We get comfortable and we communicate a lot better, you know? I'm leaving No I'm leaving I'm sick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll see you in two hours. That was too long. What if I die in the meantime? You won't. Uh, <laughs> I love you. Love you. Have a good consultation. Thank you. It is a two-day project. I can't believe you can get this done in two days. It's gonna be two days. <laughs> we'll start on the um, on the thigh area. I'm thinking from the astronaut all the way up to here, and then on the second day, uh, I want to do the bottom with the whale and then the, the jellyfish. Looked up all of his work and I loved everything. But after meeting him, he decided to change a couple of things and it even looked doper than I thought. There was like supposed to be two whales at the bottom and he changed it to a jellyfish. And the jellyfish was one of the best parts of the tattoo, I think now. So I was very confident coming in. How you feeling? Good, man. I'm ready for it. I'm excited. Oh. I'm excited. I think I'm more excited than you. You think so? I think so. 100%. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna have you stand straight. There you go, perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm extremely excited for this project because it is one of my priority designs that I customized and I posted it on my website. He was extremely interested in it, so I booked him right away. And it's just, it's gonna be a dope ass project. Have a seat, have a seat. Oh, you got hair. Yeah. You hairy, yeah. my guy. <laughs> it's only my legs too, which is weird. <laughs> I saw your arms and I was like, there's no way. Yeah, my there's arms don't no seem way like it at all. legs are gonna look, you know, no, hairier than yours. None of the rest of me is hairy, just my legs. <laughs> it's like, it's the rest of me. <laughs> all right, first stencil. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have you turn to your side a little bit more right there. Perfect. For anyone, for all the artists who are looking into doing this kind of projects and placing all things together, when it comes down to doing galaxies, for me, I like to just place the most important things where I want them. Here, uh, on my reference, there is the magical mist, right? That's what it's called, the mist? When the, the thing that gets left behind? No, a mist is like when you grab like the water hose. This is like vapor, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, like a splash? Like the splash, I guess. You know, the, the, the astronaut is falling from the sky and he left a tail. A trace. A trace? Something like that. A magical that. trace. Yeah. I'm not a astrologist. <laughs> so here I'm gonna just kind of freehand it and see where it's gonna look best. Probably make it a little bit bigger here. I'm thinking another small meteor here. Just a tiny one, just to kind of give it a little bit more motion to the whole thing rather than just one lonely one, you know? Some stars around here, you know, those, those things can be added as you tattoo depending on how you see the skin react, how it's looking, how dark it's looking, so you want to bring it back by adding stars. You know, little decisions that won't affect the piece, it's only going to make it better. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Sold. That astronaut's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, enjoy it, suck it up, enjoy it, suck it up. Kind of like a rotation there. My approach for this project is gonna be using a 14 round liner, 14 round shader for most of the whole project, but I'm also gonna have an 11 curve mag and a 17, seven, <laughs> 17. <laughs> in a 17 curve mag and I'm going to be running my voltage at a Uh, so we started from the top, we had a lot of color. I like to like kind of not look at it until we're done as much as I can. So once, he, once it started to come together and I looked down, it was like kind of mind blowing all the different colors. The key to this project is to navigate. I have to navigate through the whole entire project in order for my client to make it. Because if I don't, then my client is gonna go through a lot of pain, a lot of trauma, and maybe he's gonna tap out, you know? So I definitely gotta navigate. Galaxies for me are super fun to do because there's a lot of texture, a lot of color, a lot of contrast, highlights, you know, so I'm using my 14 round shader to execute this whole entire area with uh, the galaxy in the background. I'm using my scribble technique. A lot of you, I know you guys have used it and I am so happy because you guys sent me a lot of your pictures, a lot of your videos telling me that you guys tried the technique and it worked out for you guys. And, I, and if you haven't tried it, you gotta try it now. Definitely some pain, some spots worse than others. Towards the end of the day, it was getting pretty bad just because you know, the threshold kind of dropped. It was just a long day, but yeah, pretty, pretty typical of a tattoo. Towards the end of day one, it started to get a little bit tough for my client. So that's when I started navigating. I, was, I started communicating with him. I was like, okay, so how do you feel? How do you feel if I do this? How do we feel if I do that? What does it hurt more? What does it hurt less? So I can take advantage of those areas before I go into the most complicated areas, right? So I have to communicate and navigate. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Over there. Over there. This is it. Dang. Last thing. This is the last thing. What are you doing? At the last meteor. Uh oh. Tiny. Tiny. This is it. Dang. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna wipe uh, one time. Sorry in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hella tender. Sorry, sorry. It's a bittersweet feeling. Yeah, my bad. I'm gonna go down here too. You're good, man. Do what you gotta do. Today's day number two and I am so excited. I'm ready to finish this project. Yesterday was a little bit tough for my client, but he made it through. And today, we're gonna connect the whole thing together. <sighs> Let me size it up. Perfect. All right, let me go ahead and finish uh, getting ready. We'll get started. <sighs> Can you not limp while you're around me? You're making me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as bad. Last night I was like, oof, I was having a real hard time. Not Ooh. nearly as bad today. Well, I woke up sore, obviously, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. It was much worse last night. Uh, yeah, I was excited to come in. The, the last piece we're doing is pretty dope, so I was excited to get that going. Oh, I don't have to shave you today. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. My girlfriend had saw a big old blue spot on our sheets this morning and in oh, the bed. She, she was, was like, you're mad. sleeping in the bathtub tonight. She was mad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I expected it. I yeah, was like, I don't I mean, think, I was like, I don't think I'll bleed on the sheet, but there might be some blue here in the morning. <laughs> Kenny! Hey, out there, you look too gangster, bro. I can't do this. Too gangster right now. All right, let's put on these stencils, Dean. Day two or two? Day two, day two. Turn a little bit more this way, a little bit more right there. A little bit more. <laughs> a little, a little like bit you just more. want me on my stomach, bro? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right there, right there, perfect. <laughs> want me to lift up? What happened? You want me to lift my leg No, you're up? good. You're good. Hey, chill. What is this? Very exquisite. Day two, day two, got the jellyfish on the bottom. And the main thing about this piece is that I got to start with my solid black all the way in the bottom to make the jellyfish look like it's glowing. As soon as I pass this area here, I'm going to slowly start transitioning into my blue. And as I get closer to the astronaut, the blue is going to get even brighter. So. That way it creates that. Why are you laughing at me? What's up? What? Mm. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. I know you accentuate the ass. The ass. The astronaut. Dang. You were ready to talk shit, too. I felt it coming. I heard you. I was just giggling on my own. Well, yeah, you were giggling, but I know. I was like, what's up, fool? <laughs> Say it like you mean it, say it with your chest. <laughs> the most challenging part about today is gonna be executing the jellyfish because it has teal colors, it has very bright colors, and it's gonna have to make it look transparent, you know? So that's gonna be uh, an illusion that I have to create with my contrast, my highlights, and especially using the right colors.
To execute the jellyfish, what I'm using is a 14 watt liner because this color is definitely one of those colors that is, is hard to pack in. So I need something that's gonna pack it in fast, easy, and without traumatizing the skin. The way I'm doing it is mixing back and forth with my torquors and my till, that way it creates that smooth transition and it creates that illusion that is transparent. So we're still finishing up, but it's been just seeing it all come together. So you see little parts here and there, and it's, it's like whatever. But when you see the whole thing come together, like a whole section come together, that's been the best part. You're almost done too. So just about there. Just man, I'm super stoked, man. The, just finished up the jellyfish. I love it. So finishing up that, that next third or how, whatever it is going to be sick. Uh, just be ready for a long few days, man. You gotta just suck it up and do it. And everyone at the shop's really cool, kind of vibing out all day, got tunes going. It's been a good experience. It's been uh, the amount of ink you can get down and X amount of whatever amount of time it is, it's pretty, pretty insane. I've never seen anything like it before. Man, this project was extremely fun. My client was a trooper. It, nothing but good vibes, you know. He's just one of those clients that's stubborn. He kept telling me, I'm stubborn, I'm not gonna tap out. And you can tell, you know. He was hurting towards the end and I started feeling a little guilty, you know, because I do have feelings, you know. But what I did is, I same thing, I communicated with my client and I navigated um, in order for my client to make it through, you know. If you guys are interested in one of my priority designs, go ahead and head to my website. You guys can submit a form. I got about three more designs before I release new ones so head to my website book a priority designs and you guys get to skip the line thank you guys for joining me in this new video i really appreciate you so if you're a tattoo artist i hope you learned something from this video and if you're a tattoo enthusiast i hope you were entertained thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next week peace don't forget to purchase your ticket from my upcoming seminar in Florida at the Ink Mania Expo. It's going to be an amazing time. I'm going to be tattooing live and I'm going to be explaining my process how to approach a cover up. So make sure to purchase your ticket ahead of time and I can't wait to see you there.